movie of the week. Presenting the world premiere of an original motion picture produced especially for ABC. Tonight on the movie of the week. Service, huh? Yeah. Maybe. No, I was in the Corps. Well, that's service, ain't it? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. After you've been on this job after a while, you get to spot things like that. Well, you got a lot to learn, I'm here to tell you. See them guys back there? Three of them monkeys been with us before. Hey, Steve! What? What did you bring? One to five. So you had enough? It's enough. He's a tough kid. See that little kid back there? I wouldn't be in his shoes for nothing. We got us a college professor. We got a college professor back there. Page! Jonathan Page, get on your feet! All rise. This court is now in session. Murder. Murder? I was a professor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Hey, Paige, sit down. And let them chips fall where they may. Irregardless of where they may. Irregardless. Joints, can of worms. I don't even know why I work there. I know why I work there. I got possessions. You got possessions? No. I... Worst thing that ever happened to guys get possessions. Famous on TV, car, kids eat like crocodiles. They don't even let the little kids pray in the schools anymore. Rides the street, anarchy. The Honorable Thomas Moradan decided. The defendant will rise. Will the foreman hand the verdict to the bailiff?
What is your verdict? Guilty or not guilty? We find the defendant guilty of manslaughter. Jonathan Page, you have been found guilty and convicted of manslaughter. Hey, you outlaws, come on. Give me a hand or they don't slip. All right, come on, let's go. down their trousers and up their legs, like that. Okay, you want to do it to me? Yeah. What about glasses? Glasses are all right. Fine. I need that other shirt. It's too small. Yeah, here's your pants, too. At least that's that last year for nine months. I know, I know. What size shorts? Uh, small. And trousers? 33. What size you are? Oh, uh, uh, 15 color. Pants, 34, 34 weeks. Now you get three sets. They've got lashes for nine months, so take care of them because there's no excuses. Try to fit them tight so they can't compress their hands and get out of them. 
Any questions? What can I say? This is the standard Ithaca riot weapon. Shoots 12 gauge buckshot. Effective about 50 to 75 yards. Never point these at anyone unless you're ready to use them. This is a fine example of handicraft. This little plate that was across here, the officer in the shakedown picked the boat up and that fell off and here's a complete narcotics set. Syringe, needle. T. O. C. E. I do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of this state, that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity. I do. You gotta be a shark to survive in this joint or they eat you alive. But the thing that gets to me the most are these bleeding heart politicians. They come around here and they want to know what's happening. So who do they go to? They go to the cons. Well, they ain't gonna tell them nothing. If they do tell them something, it'd be a bunch of lies. They want to know what's happening. You got to talk to the guards. The guards will tell them what's happening. You talk to me, I'll tell you what's happening. What's your man like? Oh, he's all right. Well, he's kind of lost control around here. But, you know, we used to run this place like a machine. We had some discipline. He's going to, some short time, he's going to retire soon. Oh, yes. You can go in now. I guess he just doesn't want to make any waves. Sir, John Corman. He's had the tour? Yes, sir. And the armory, he knows what it is. Yes, sir. Now, get acquainted with your different bells and know what they mean. And you understand that at no time will you be permitted to carry firearms while in population. That was explained to me, yes, sir. If you are ever taken hostage, the official position is you're a dead man. Yes. We won't bargain. Coffee? No, sir. Yes, sir, I believe I will. Thank you. You know, in actuality, the residents can take uh, hostages any time they want. Because they've got the manpower. They outnumber us six to one. You want sugar? Uh, no, sir. I'll take it straight. Thank you. Now, this has been my place of business. Well, it's going on 30 years now. I suppose after a time it tends to, to callous you a bit. <clears throat> but it's a job, Officer Corbin. And in a way, I can be a very good one. Now, <clears throat> I see here you had a tour in Vietnam. Yes, hmm? sir. Yes, sir. Whatever made you decide on corrections as a career? I had a... When I was in Saigon, I uh, pulled down two months brig duty in a stockade there, and I saw a couple of things. Kind of, I don't know, it didn't add up to me, so I, I just thought I'd take a shot here. I'd really like to know, Officer Corbin, why? Uh, uh, well, things are tight, and I couldn't find anything else. <laughs> but the other stuff's true, it's true. You know, in a way, this has been a rewarding life. I think I've made a few good decisions. And who knows, maybe one day you yourself will be sitting behind this very desk. Officer Cartman, I want to welcome you aboard. Thank you. Good luck to you now. Thank you, sir. Two months brig duty. Oh, he'll get the hang of it. This new prisoner, Jonathan Page. He's a college professor? Yes, sir, manslaughter. He seems like a clean type, straight. Great, great, that's fine. I want him in the pharmacy. Sir? I want Professor Page behind that counter. Well, sir, that's a very difficult spot to put a new man in. You just said yourself he was straight, didn't you? Yes, sir. I want Professor Page in the pharmacy, Officer Brown. Yes, sir. All right, Fish, down the stairs, turn left.
Okay, home sweet home. That's what it says right here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Page, Campbell, cell 131, ground floor. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get your toilet paper and your soap right there from here. Okay. Uh, page, cell 129, ground floor. Okay. Arini, 125. Arino. Arino, 125, ground floor. Catalog, classification. Uh, 
lady from? Oh, man, I was out there and used in here. All right, it's all right. They can handle it. Out there is where the action is. Good tonight, you know that? Yeah, it looks good. You know what they tell me? Tell me you're, uh, you're a, um, um, a, it's a PhD, right? PhD? Yeah, PhD. PhD. Boy, I really could use it that way, that talent, you know that? Bowl of chili. Forget the onions. Yeah, you know onions. Give me a Teresa. Uh, are you wine? No, thank you very much. My name's Hugo Sok. Jonathan Page. Hey, let me clue you into something. Look, Professor, in here you can have... You can have, like, 3,000 PhDs. Don't mean nothing. You mean nothing. You're dogma, just like the rest of these cons. And especially you. You don't know nothing. You don't know yet, you know? So, uh... Maybe... Maybe uh, we can kind of... Help each other out. It's interesting. Mm. See, I'm tuned into this joint. Want a cigarette? No, thank you. I don't smoke. Well, you see now, that's your first mistake. And when I offer you something for free, you take it. Come on, take it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me clear you into something, Professor. Like this, will you? There's, you know, two kinds of times that you can do in here, you know? Good, bad. Depending. Like, take that hassle that just happened over there. You know that fight? Okay. One of them guys, he's going to get cut. I mean, it happens every day. There are shivs all over this place. <laughs> hey, this is nice. I, uh... Enjoying your company, you know? Yeah? You know, uh... I can get you a little soft job, yeah? One of my associates can fix it. Hey, Professor. I think you've been listening to me. What I'm trying to say is that I can make things easier for you, you know? I, uh, I, I really appreciate your offer, Mr. Swogum, but I, I don't... Uh, I think I'll pass on it. Let me tell you something else. This is very important. You listen now. Say you're walking down the corridor, right? I mean, any corridor, the whole joint. Yeah. And you bump into a guy, you know, boom. Accident. It doesn't have to be boom. It could be boom. Yeah, boom. Well, you better apologize. It's your life might depend on it. And then after you apologize, the guy may cut you up anyway. See? Yeah. And it'd be a shame to see a guy with your talents, uh, the ways, you know? And you know, everybody's got to bring their tray back clean. Why don't you finish up Hugo's food for him? We'll appreciate it. Eat up. Man, you 
Guru Slocum five cartons, right? We gave you three weeks. Before that, we gave you three weeks. Now, where the hell are they? Three weeks Sunday. Three weeks. Look, it was three weeks Thursday. Man, don't jab with me. You owe those cartons. Look, I want them. I want them faster. I'm going to open you up like a pig, and you'll be steaks all over the floor. Now, come on. Straighten it up with Slocum. I'll give you seven cartons. He's been all over my neck. Hey, come on. Get him to Hey, hey, man. Come here. Hey, Jack. Come here. What do you got? I got nothing there. Let me see. I haven't got it today. You got a shank. I have not got a shank. Hey, man, you want to go to Max? Better talk to Slocum. Hey, you want You have a little problem here? Yeah, you, you got a shank. I don't have it. All right, all right. I'll take care of it now. Beat it. Fish and bowl. Stop. Seventy-two days to go. Oh. What are you in for? Do you want to know? Yeah, if you want to tell me. It was a bum rat. That's that. No, no, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's a good story. <laughs> I was going to go over to see my girlfriend. See, I was going to walk over. She lives on the other side of town, right? And I thought I'd walk my dog, too. And I took a little grass along with me just to, you know, keep things friendly. So we're um, walking across town, right? And my dog stops to, you know, do his thing. And I, I look next to me and I see there's these two people, right, having this business transaction, you might call it. Well, suddenly, wow, you know, 2,000 cops are surrounding us, right? We're pinned up against the wall and they're patting us down. And I'm just saying, listen, I'm just walking my dog, you know? <laughs> So they put me in the cab. <laughs> Did it really happen? Some of it. <laughs> Boy. It sure be nice to have a guitar in here. Wouldn't it be nice to have a guitar? Huh? Is he going to let you bring a guitar in here? I don't know. Let us wear long hair. Hugo Slocum, he could get a guitar. Hugo Slocum? Yeah, oh, wait, you don't know. I'm working for him now. I'm one of his runners. You're what? kidding. No, no, he's not terrific. Everything's really going to be fine. I don't think it's a good thing. I think it's dumb. You know, sometimes you amaze me. I mean, did you see the faces of those guys when I came in here? I mean, man, I need someone to protect me around here. Listen, I don't want to tell you what to do, but I think that's a... I think that's a big mistake. I think this is a very big mistake. Well, we'll discuss it later, all right? Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, now that I'm a heavyweight around here as a criminal type, if you want anything, uh, just let me know, okay? Yeah. Pick it over. Douglas Hadlock, Alan McCoy, Captain's Office. Douglas Hadlock, Alan McCoy, hey. Captain's Office. Hey, you're a pill pusher. Got that job in the pharmacy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the guy that uh, you took his job away, you know? He put him to work in the laundry. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Uh, well, he knows the ins and outs of the job, so if you got any questions, why don't you ask him? He knows how it works. And, uh, you know, once in a while, uh, Ajax here will be coming through. There'll be an envelope underneath the counter. Just make sure he gets it.
Some joker put Sinclair out of business. That's not my problem, Hugo. Maybe. Games, games, games. today. John Boylan. Did you get any mail? Captain's office. Sometimes it's harder getting mail than not getting it. He tries to let me know what's happening with our kid. Keeps me up to date with our friends. You know, I hear these guys talking, and I've heard so many guys say that they've lost their family since they came here. Listen, uh, you're only in here for a year, you know? Then you can go back to teaching and your wife and your kid. It's kind of like a paid vacation. A sabbatical. Yeah. Ooh. Harold Palmer. Hey. Harold Palmer. What's it like working with smoking? Straight and narrow. Yeah, all right. I won't give you any advice. Hey, listen, you know, I'm going to give you some advice. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, Don't get depressed. <laughs> We'll be working together. Uh huh. My name's Jonathan Page. Uh huh. What's your name? Why? <laughs> well, no particular reason, I guess. Well, if you have to have a name, it's Lennox. Lennox. Okay. Morning. Let's see what you got there. Okay. There you are. What's that? Hello. Come on. Come on. Move the down. I'll give you something to put in your eye. Is that you? Here you go. Okay, my man. Okay, there you go. you doing, man? Yeah, I think so. You know what I'm not gonna do? That thing you did with Ajax, sure took a lot of style. I'm gonna tell you something. It's not gonna end there. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to answer to some people. It's too bad. 
could have been a walk through. You just had a year. What do you know that? Read your file. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Was it interesting? Not too much. Now, take my file. Maybe one, two inches thick. Starts at age nine. Some heavy, heavy stuff. There aren't any secrets in here, Paige. Yeah, that's what I'm beginning to see. What'd you say you teach? You read my file. It's too bad. Now, you could have done easy time. Yes, sir, I think so. It's okay. It's a lot of routine, you know. I, uh, so far, routine. Mm. Knock on wood. Well, we didn't promise adventure or travel. <laughs> no. no. It's a job, Cortland. It's a job like any other. No, I don't know. I tell you, I, I get to thinking seven out of ten of these guys come back in here. Isn't that right? That's a figure? Yeah. Seven out of ten of them? Well, that's not right. I mean, that... Man, that's a bad scene. It seems to me like something somewhere along the line is not working. You're not going to change anything, Cortland. Half these guys are nuts, anyhow. This is dynamite. Looking for a fuse. These blacks aren't criminals anymore. They're revolutionary martyrs. And they hate you because you put them inside. And the white cops, it's the same thing. Now, don't let yourself get pegged soft. And this bunch of animals in here will eat you alive. How about you and the uh, little lady coming over for dinner next week, huh? Oh, I'm not married. I don't have a wife, Captain. Uh, married your career, huh? No, I had, I had a wife. We, uh, we split up. I got a divorce. Yeah. Uh, well, the invite uh, still holds for yourself. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. How you doing, Professor? Hi. Hey, kid. When you finish your job, come on over to my house. I got something for you. You bet, Chief. Well, I better get going. Hey. Come on. Page. I stood in the line, he looks at me, I look at him, I could have stayed there all bloody day. I mean, those guys, they don't need this. Oh, hey, hey, kid, come on to my house. Sit down, sit down. Bet you're wondering what I got for you, huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Watch this. And this quicker than the eye. Watch this, kid. <laughs> look at that. Look at the wood, feel the wood. It's all yours, kid. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, Hugo, what are we gonna do about Paige, huh? We'll take care of him later. Well, you didn't have to do this. Isn't that lovely, huh, kid? Hey, That's really nice. nice. You know, I know you're still new here, you know, you're still a pinky. But pretty soon you're gonna find out there's only a few things Hugo Slocum can't get in this prison. Like one's a... One's a helicopter. <laughs> and the other one's a woman. Hey, uh, you want some, uh, you want some cake? Look what I got here. Look at this cake. Isn't that nice, huh? You want some? No. Hey! Was it your birthday? Look at this. 
<laughs> hey, look, anything in this prison you want, you just let me know. I can get it for you. Anything. Oh, yeah, what about grass? Grass. Grass. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Joanna? <Huh? laughs> you better believe it. I can even get the angels to put a little dust on it, you know. <laughs> Sure, let me just uh, get it tuned up first, okay? Is that how you tune it up? Hey, look, look, just relax. Nobody's gonna hurt you, kid. You know, I hear? I hear that you wanna get into the uh, machine shot. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, I could fix it for you just like that. It's not easy. I mean, I know you've been doing little things for me, you know, but you haven't been doing enough, and, uh, And in here, you're gonna need my protection. With me around, you got no worries, you know? Yeah, I, I think that's true. It's just that I don't, I don't know what else I could do for you. Well, look, kid, I don't think, I don't think you get my message. I say that you need protection because this is a jungle here, see? There's a lot of animals out there just waiting. Grab a kid like you, you know? Hey, what's the matter with you? You want to be fair game? I like you, kid. See the me. Tell the difference after a while. How long are you in for? Mm -hmm. All my life, one ghetto or another. <laughs> this time I drew an indeterminate sentence. <laughs> you know, a friend of mine down in Mississippi brought 1,900 years. You kidding? Man, nope. <laughs> At least he knows what he got. You know, I, I spent my life writing checks to make the world better. You know what I mean? And, and passing out petitions and going to meetings. I'm not ready for this. I can't do my own time. When everybody's hustling me, everybody's after me, everybody's doing a con. The whole thing's a big game. It's a system. That's how it gets down. You know, I think you haven't been around a lot of hard drugs before. No. Well, in here, that's how a lot of guys get through the day. That's what makes Slocum King, gives him power. He has control on the flow. What you did was stop it. Well, I did. Mm -hmm. Um, listen. What do you want? What are you saying? Well, everybody wants something. The, the whole place wants something. We're all hustling. It's from the warden on down. I'm not gaming you, Paige. What I want is these men to realize their value as individuals. 
and as human beings. That's all you want? Look, I'm no slogan because I'm political. And that's something you'll never understand or the warden either. Because they're both part of the system and I'm going to change that system, baby. And you want to know why? Because I'm in here for life, forever. And I got nothing to lose. You keep the junk out of Slocum's pipeline and he'll dry up. He'll be ripped off by his own pumps. And then what? What do you mean? Mm. It's a funny thing about change. Everything seems to stay the same. What's to prevent you from taking over? Nothing. You know, I thought you could dig on what I was saying. You know different from any of them. Sinclair figure, isn't it? That's right, Ed Carden. Ray didn't rough you up, did he? No. Well, what's your beef? No one told me. No one told him. Well, look, kid, there's no problem, you know. Forget the smokes. And his cigarettes mean money, but uh, money isn't everything. I'll let it slide because I like it. That's wise. Nobody asked you. I'll tell you what. I'll get you the rest of your cigarettes. Too bad. Nice kid. No, I don't. 
Mm -hmm. I'll have to get any good out of maybe to send me to China or something. Listen, <laughs> I'd like to talk to you. We've got a minute. A minute? Yeah, I've got a lifetime. I want to talk to you, too. Why don't you step in my office? Look, it's, uh, it's about Alan. About Alan? Yeah. Yeah, well, I just think he's a very naive kid, and I think he can leave this place pretty much the same way he was when he came in if he's given the chance. Yeah, Professor, you know you sound like it's not like one of them case workers, you know. No, I, I'm just concerned about him. That's all. Well, you sound like one of them case workers. So why don't you handle my case? And I don't know what you mean. I mean, you're working in that pharmacy, and, and I want you out. Well, why don't you tell the warden? I'm telling you. You see, St. Clay, he's a... Uh, I mean, it's not nice. He's going fruity working in that laundry room. He doesn't get his coffee in the morning. That disturbs him. Hey, Ajax! Isn't that right? Doesn't see Claire miss his coffee in the morning? That's what he said. That's just what I'm telling you. It's like I told you the other day in the car. I want Sinclair out of that laundry room back in the dispensary. Yeah, but I can't do that. Look, do I, uh, do I talk funny or something? You understand me? Yeah, I understand you. I don't talk too fast for you, do I? No, no, I understand you. I, I, I just hope that I can make myself clear. Well, look, I can have you cut right now. You'd be dead by the time you hit the floor. It happens that quick. You wouldn't have a chance to say bye-bye. It's amazing, Professor. Ain't no place in there you can get away from me. I don't care if you go to chapel, you go to can, I'll get you. So you don't you mess with me. And from now on, you handle my case. You got that? What are you looking at? Nothing. I wasn't looking at you. What are you looking at? I saw you staring. I wasn't looking at you. I'm sorry if I was staring. Hold it, Paige. <coughs> Just hold it. Look, I didn't mean anything by it. Why don't you do me a favor? Favor? You're a teacher, right? Yeah. Read my book. Did you write this? Yeah. It's a book for kids. I made you decide to write a book for children. I used to have a daughter. You used to? What do you mean? What, did your wife leave you when you came here? I don't know. Hey, look, I, I, I know it's got uh, bad spelling and... But maybe if you read it over for me, and if you know somebody on the outside, you can get it published.
You do these drawings? Yeah. How long have you been working on this? For about three years. Yeah. Three years. You know, you must have something going for you if you could do this. Why do you let Slocum push you around like that? Hey, that's none of your business. You get your head together. I'm sorry I asked you to read my book. Wait a minute, you're not getting so excited about it. Just, just a... Listen, you know, you can get wasted in here. Somebody's going to get dusted, sir. Oh? Yes, sir. I think it's possible there'll be more than one of them. I got that kind of news every day. Yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, I know you do, but uh, it's a tension. I've been watching it. It's a tension down in C Block. It's been building up to a point where I think if something isn't done... If something isn't done, what? Prisoners sometimes carry grudges for years, and then suddenly one becomes a dead body. If I try to follow up every little fragrance, I wouldn't have time for anything else. Now, if it's only just suspicion... No, sir, it's not just suspicion. I think you ought to move Page uh, to, to another block. Uh, take him out of C block. I think you also ought to move him out of the pharmacy. Another block wouldn't make a bit of difference, and I want him in the pharmacy. Gordon, I'm telling you, Slocum is going to have some... Don't, don't try to tell me. My job, Officer Cortland, I've dealt with such situations as this every day for years now. You're fooling around with a man's life here. See, we've learned through experience it's sometimes better to let certain given situations adjust themselves. A file report, if you must. Anybody home? Oh, how you go? Hi. Miss you today. Oh, yeah, well, I wanted to work on my book. Oh. Well, that's all good and fine, but you're supposed to pick up that envelope from Brown. Oh. Uh, I, I forgot. Yeah, that's what the boy's been saying. I'm just forgetting a, a lot of things, you know? I, I, I'm sorry, you. Listen, I'll get off Brown's case. Oh, no, 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 don't sweat it. Read past it on already. Hey, believe me, you go. I'm sorry. I. Well, I know you were working on your book, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. 
Speaking about your book, Sinclair, I understand that you had a friendly chat with the professor in the library today. No, no. Oh, no. no. Don't give me that. No, no. Don't give me that! What are you talking about? Yeah. No, nothing. You were supposed to lay on him and get him out of that pharmacy. I, I just asked him to read my book. I, I wanted to check the spelling, Hugo. Check the spelling in, in yeah. there? Yeah, that, that's all. That's all. Oh. So he was helping you with this, huh? Yeah, that's right. Here, here. <laughs> I'll let you go on more, you think. Well, I got others to take your place. Hey, kid. Hi. Hey. How bad, kid? Set it before God, and you wouldn't be here. You know, I could squeeze the life right out of you with one hand. I've done it before. Hey. You believe me when I tell you I could kill you? I'm scared, you ain't I? But you know, you just don't want to mess with me ever since I turned to God. You got a lot of things hitting on you at once. But there are rules. Now, Hugo don't want you dead. But you gotta understand that he does mean business.
get you something? Look, just hang, just hang on, okay? Look, it doesn't make any difference what happened. You're still a man. You're still the same person you were when you came here. you want to die.
remain wide open in writing. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. What, what do you mean? Look, Paige. Let's just say I'm Slocum's accountant. Yeah. Eight years he kept a record. All down. Every detail. You have, you have guards in this? I don't know the names. Brown. Eight years, a lot of ground to cover. Fall. Jerry, you know the right people will nail this guy. Who knows about this book? Slocum. Ajax. Now you. I don't understand something. Why are you doing this now? Listen, Paige. I'm dead. Wait, who's got the book? It's yours right now. Outside. You know how to do that? Yeah, I know how to get something out of here, but why should I help you? Because it's very important. What do you want to do? Send a letter out to the old lady or something? No, 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 no. It's important to you, too. What is it? I can't tell you what it is. I can't. It's something written. I know what it is. And if you want to get slow come, this is how you do it. Bullet, trigger, boom. I can't do that. Anyway, I don't want to get Slocum. You don't even know what's happening, man. I want you got to back you up. <laughs> if that's what you want, why don't you do it? You can start a wall, baby. Well, let me tell you one thing. If you want to get Slocum off your back, you better get something. You understand? I can't help you, man. Yeah, it was a dream, man. Yeah, it was just a black dream. They got everybody checked out. They got everybody checked out. They got a dossier on every everybody in this country, man. When a, when a, when a, when a black man, and I know this, because I know some, I know this cat, his mother was worked for the CIA. And he told me that, like, every single black man Oh. 
beat him from within. Yeah. Get the hell out of here, will you?
I'll take that book. The hell you will. been baptized. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. Too bad about the PhD. Page. Jonathan Page. It's amazing how many, how many problems got solved yesterday. Here it is. Yeah, I read that. I, I read that. I know you've read it. I need your signature. There's a lot missing in here, sir. Now, this is the official version, Corman. Well, nothing I reported is in here. A convict died yesterday in a racial flare-up. No. A race riot, pure and simple. It happens all the time. No, the time. no, sir. That is not the way this was. You only came in on the tail end of it. This office has all the facts. There was a power play. Well, I... I submitted Slocum's book for proof. What book? The handwritten notebook with the names and bribes. That's what the hell it was all about, Warden. There is no book, Officer Cartman. I won't sign your paper. I'm not, I won't sign your statement. No one is forcing you to sign. I'm merely presenting you with the smoothest way to explain your killing of a prisoner. Officer Brown has already been severely reprimanded for gross negligence of duty. <laughs> oh, boy. You see, you're still too inexperienced to, to, to grasp all of the ramifications, Cortland. Our duty is to keep things from bubbling over, from exploding. That is... Warden, that's just a bunch of crap. The, your joint's exploding right now. You don't even know it. And if you do know it, you, you, you don't even know why. There are panels, Corbin. Panels and boards. And we have to answer to them. And the senators. And the human rights groups. And left-wingers and right-wingers. And death penalty and no death penalty. And kill the prisoners. Let the prisoners go free. Sorry, no more money. I'm not in love with the system, but it's all we've got. And it's better than having no system at all. No. No, I'm going to tell this story. I'm going to tell it. Officer Cortland, you were beat on your own. Absolutely alone. All right. It's all right. I wouldn't have it any other way. Cartman. Thank you. 